Hi everybody, it's Sally from Sally Stampers. Thank you for joining me today. Today I'm bringing you a probably quite a basic um, gift box in terms of how um, it's decorated. Um, I don't know about you, but I I also quite like, um, for example, like brown brown paper wrapped gifts with just a nice ribbon or a nice tag on, um, and. You know, I think, yes, we have beautiful papers for Christmas and we have beautiful DSP that we can use. But sometimes it's nice just to do a bit of stamping and make your own. And so this is how this was inspired. Now, I'm going to be completely honest with you. When I made this, first off, I stamped the reindeers all facing that way. So I thought, no biggie, I'll do it again, which I did. Um, and I simply, I'm just going to slide this off actually because it's going to be easier. So, um, <laughs> so I, I thought, well, that's okay. I'll do the, um, I'll do the reindeers and I'll just leave them on the inside. That j looks just as nice. And I'll, um, re-stamp them on the outside. So I did stamping again and then I scored and cut. And then I realised they're upside down. <laughs> and I thought, you know what, I am not making this again. So this actually is an upside down one. So I've just turned it round for the purposes of the filming. Um, but yes, yeah, so as you can see, this is actually just simply called my movie popcorn. So it's just a little pack of microwavable popcorn um, that, you know, if you saw my tutorial on Saturday, you will know that it was for a DVD or stamp case uh, gift box. So if you are treating someone to a DVD, maybe you can treat them to some popcorn too. Um, I think these are maybe about 99p something like that they might or they might there's certainly no more than about one pound fifty maximum i'm sure um and i just think that the, i mean who doesn't love movie and popcorn okay granted i think it's possibly my daughter it's either my daughter or my son that doesn't like popcorn i can never remember i always have to ask them one doesn't like popcorn so one always has sweets but either way I think movie and popcorn go together so I thought this would be perfect and it is just simply a little close over box and then when it's not upside down let's hope that I don't do this one upside down and then I just simply tied some of our lovely braided linen thread over the top I've used some metallic thread just there just to oh that's now come off um it was tied around that um, that I think just a little tag. I just think why be overwhelming with it? I think that's really cute. So I'm going to show you. I just used the watercolour pencils just to colour in his nose there. Um, this one's crumb cake and crumb cake ink and I actually used crumb cake and soft suede just so he was a bit darker and stood out a bit more and then I'll say a watercolour pencil on his nose. So I'll show you how to make it and let's hope we don't stamp this one the wrong way. So I'm going with real red this time. Why is my camera not focusing properly? Let's just give it a moment. Is it going to stop? Yes. Okay. So you need a sheet of cardstock that is ten and a quarter by eight and a half. And I forgot to get my real red ink out. And then I'm simply going to use my tone on tone again. So my real red, and I'm actually using Father Christmas because I am using the red one. Now what you need is you'll need it facing long ways and then you need to because this is certainly going to stand out like a sore thumb if he's upside down isn't he so have it so that you've got the short side here long side across the top and the bottom and then we're simply just going to stamp random santas father christmas whatever you want to call him all over here now if you want to add the bobble to the top of his hat obviously you can um i'm not going to just because it will take me forever to do all of these with just his hat let's just add a little bit there so i'll just give that a little clean I'll get rid of that for a moment and then you need to bring in your scoreboard so sheet of cardstock that is ten and a quarter by eight and a half and that is 26 by 22 centimeters so on the long side you need to score at three quarters of an inch four and three quarters 
five and a half and nine and a half and in centimetres that is two, twelve, fourteen and twenty-four. We're going to rotate and then we're simply going to score again at three quarters and then at seven and three quarters. That doesn't look right. That's because I've cut it short, look. It should be eight and a half. So we'll just pretend that we've got the extra half there. So, and that will be two and 20 centimeters. So let's move these out of the way. Hope that doesn't fall over, which it does. Okay, so what you need to remember here then is that this is going to be the lid. So I need my bone folder. Trust me to go and not cut the paper the right size. Isn't that frustrating? <laughs> okay, so just fold and burnish all of those score lines. And then we need to make sure that this is going to be the lid. So the first thing we're going to do is on this long skinny panel on the right hand side, we're going to get our three quarter circle punch and I'm just eyeballing about halfway to put my thumb notch in. And that's the first thing. Then working across the bottom from the right hand side, we're simply going to cut our wedges into the small squares that are on either end and in the centre. Sorry Father Christmas. And again on this end one. And then we're going to turn it round and do exactly the same at the top. So either end and then the centre. Oops, come on, if you get. Oh heavens, there we go. And then this last one. There we go. So that's that bit done. And so now we want to glue our base up. So back in with my wet glue. And I'm literally going to put it just on these four because these four are going to be my base. So grab some of my beautiful clips and then just as we do with all of them I'm just simply going to put them into the position glue them and then add a clip once you've done the first one it's easier to put the rest of them together she says come on naughty naughty thank you Let's just fold that out so you can see. It's so dark and dreary and miserable today. Oh, this isn't going to work too well, is it? Because I cut this one short. Never mind. We can still do it. One there. Yeah, it's really grey and miserable today. So it makes my craft room quite dark and dull. So that's the base made up we've got our santas the right way so everything's going well so now i'm just going to grab my last two clips and i'm just going to put these down onto what will be the lid so again just putting the glue on getting those lined up and then putting the clip on And I keep forgetting when I put glue on this that it's not all the way down, but never mind. So just pop those on there. I know that you all giggle with me. I giggle at myself, so feel free to laugh away at my stupidity sometimes. Right, so there we are. So while that's just dry drying, I'm going to do my Father Christmas. So I've actually not practiced this, so we'll see how this pans out. So I've got my memento here my very well-loved Father Christmas 
that I'm just, will it fit? Oh yes, just. So I'm just going to stamp him on there. And then what actually I thought I might try is my watercolour pencils. I've got black and white here. And I was just going to try a little bit of black just to shade his boots. Because we did do the reindeer's nose, so it would be a shame for Father Christmas not to have any colouring. Obviously, if you wanted to colour it in white, uh, stamp it on white, whisper white, and then colour the whole thing in, you could do that too. Just going to do his, his belt. And then I was hoping that the white may show up enough. Oh, yes. Look at that. I might have to do his bobble, I think, because it's going to look, it looks like he's got a headband on, doesn't it? <laughs> Maybe he's just going out for a run or something. <laughs> Brilliant. So we've got a bold headed Santa who's about to go out for a jog. I like that. Looks funny. So <laughs> I'm hoping I've given you all a chuckle now. Something to laugh about. Just hope that it's not whilst you're having your morning coffee or you're sat at your desk before you start work because people will wonder what you're giggling at. Oh, missed a little bit there, look. Nearly, nearly missed a little bit. There we go. So, uh, right, where are we? So I need my um, stamp case because I'm going to need to do that little... So I'm going to punch him out first. There he is, and then I just want to do the bobble. Ouch, the stamp case was biting me then. Just going to do the bobble, where is it? There it is, on his hat. And I'm using this ridiculously large block because I can, and because I can't be bothered to dig another one out. So there's his bobble. Move that and move that. I want that and that can go away, that can go away, that can go away. This is my OCD kicking in guys, I do apologise. Give his bobble a quick colour with my white pencil and then let's see if we can line this up to punch out there. There we go. that away, get rid of that. So um, I'm going to use my handheld punch here. Sorry Father Christmas, I am going to punch a hole in your head. And then we want a glue dot. You notice I went quite far down so that I can stick his bobble on. Look at that. I don't actually know if that looks better or not. Well, I think it's quite cute, even if it does look a bit pink now. Right, so what I would probably also be tempted to do, actually, if you want to write on Father Christmas, is to, those aren't big enough, is to get some Whisper White, punch one out, and snail it to the back. And then that way you will be able to write on it. And then you just need to re-punch that hole so that it's through the white as well. And then let's take all of the clips off. my popcorn inside, shut my silly box up that hasn't got the bit long enough side there. And there we go and then again I've got some of the lovely linen, braided linen thread, trim, trim, braided linen trim that I am simply wrapping and I'm using, I'm doing the um, ribbon this side because that's where the open bits are, if you like, of the lid. And it just, 
just holds it all in place and then again just tie this up onto here try and get a fairly decent bow oh my goodness another one that seems to be a-okay and obviously if you want to leave some long trails of this one you can do and then again just going back in with some of the metallic thread and you could use um, twine, uh, baker's twine or anything for this I'm just going to use some metallic thread and just feed that through there and then as with all the ties take the other two ends and it actually hides behind his bobble which is good and then I just simply for the previous one I just tied it around this knot but it might be worthwhile doing a double knot because like I said mine came undone And make sure you hold on to the ends as well because you don't want to get those mixed up. Pull him a bit tighter. Oh no, actually, I think he looks quite nice there. And actually, that one doesn't need a double knot. I think it was just because I was fiddling with the last one. But there he is. There's my Santa. He probably would look better in white, actually. I think he's perhaps a little bit too dark for that one. But I think they're quite cute and I think that they would be very welcome gifts of popcorn to anyone who wants to watch a movie at Christmas. Hope you like my ideas and don't forget to go and have a look at that online extravaganza sale. Last couple of days today and tomorrow so don't forget go and have a look check out my online store there is a link below just in the description um, and go and grab yourself a few bargains treat yourself just before Christmas. Hope you have a great day guys and I'll see you all again soon. Bye!